The striking and sleek image of the towering starship, lifting off brilliantly in April, left countless fans in awe. It wasn't just the sheer power of the starship that drew admiration, but also its outer beauty that garnished high praise. Starship looked like a colossal blue whale with sleek and shiny skin, and we can't find any traces of it. But if you've been following Starship from the beginning, you'd know that the first Starship prototypes were incredibly rough and unrefined. Let's take an in-depth look at how SpaceX mastered the Starship's welding in this episode of Alpha Tech. In the genesis of the Starship project, SpaceX envisioned a spacecraft crafted from lightweight carbon fiber. The potential of harnessing carbon fiber, renowned for its exceptional strength-to-weight ratio, seemed to herald a promising future for the Starship. However, after an extensive research process, winds of change swept through SpaceX's vision. Although carbon fiber boasts light weightiness, it began to break down at around 200 degrees Celsius. Consequently, it would necessitate an exceedingly thick heat shield to withstand temperatures of 1600 degrees during multiple re-entries. Ultimately, a momentous decision altered the course of the project. SpaceX opted to employ stainless steel, an economic material costing only $3 a kilogram, in stark contrast to carbon staggering $150 a kilogram. Despite being heavier, stainless steel boasted higher durability, capable of enduring three times the heat that carbon could withstand. Furthermore, the production of composite carbon materials requires meticulous layering of fibers to create multidirectional strength, followed by processing within immensely pressurized ovens. For components as large as Starship's 9-meter segments, SpaceX would require an oven larger than currently anything existing on Earth. And this is where stainless steel really shines. It can be swiftly joined together using basic and cost-effective methods. Thus, SpaceX embarked on creating the world's brightest rocket. However, for some reason, it didn't turn out to be quite as shiny. Due to the exceptional heat retention capabilities of stainless steel, it posed a significant challenge in the welding process, a pivotal component in space vehicle fabrication. Welding stainless steel demands a high level of expertise and precision serving as a rigorous test of skill even for the most experienced welders. Furthermore, the inherent non-recoverable nature of the metal leaves no room for imperfections, eliminating any margin of error or subpar craftsmanship. This is why initially, the welding process for Starship posed challenges for SpaceX due to their limited welding experience. The first versions of the Starship used a welding technique called flux core. This method involves passing an electric current through a wire, creating a spark between the wire and the metal, and then melting them together. This melted metal fills any gaps or imperfections. In flux core welding, the wire is wrapped in a material that burns to release a protective gas. This gas shields the weld from oxygen in the air, which can cause rust. This works well in controlled environments, but SpaceX faced challenges because they were working in a large tent, not a proper factory. Many welds were done by inexperienced workers outdoors, leading to less than optimal results for the Starship's appearance. The welds on the first prototype, called Mark I, showed signs of corrosion, cracks, and rough edges. To improve them, SpaceX ground down the welds until they were smooth with the surface. This wasn't just for looks, it actually made the welds stronger. Those sharp edges and small cracks could have caused bigger problems once the Starship got pressurized. Grinding down the surface removed these issues and lowered the risk of the welds failing. Ideally, each weld needs to be as strong as the surrounding metal. However, the first Starship test revealed that this wasn't the case. The Mark I prototype exploded because of a failed horizontal weld that sent a bulkhead flying. So to address these challenges, SpaceX made improvements for the next prototype, the SN1. They used thinner sheets of stainless steel for each ring, which requires less welding. They also moved from 301 to 304L stainless steel, which was much more resistant to corrosion when welding. At this time, they also upgraded to TIP-TIG welding, which allowed them to better control the welding pool. This enabled the welders to tighten their work and penetrate the metal more deeply. With fewer individual welds needed to connect the spacecraft's parts, the risk of failure decreased significantly. 
Each weld now showcased the precision and meticulousness that characterized Starship's construction. SpaceX also acquired robotic welding machines from companies like Liberty and KUKA, similar to the ones seen in Tesla's factories. With these upgrades, SpaceX automated a significant portion of the process, resulting in cleaner and more precise welds. Additionally, they began incorporating more support structures within the Starship's body to prevent the metal from warping under its own weight. Next comes another astonishing welding method that contributes to Starship's awesome appearance. This method involves the use of an automated welding robot equipped with an upgraded friction stir welding control system. This version, invented by the Welding Institute Limited in the 90s, is the key factor that sets Starship apart from other rockets manufactured over the course of history. At its core, FSW employs a unique approach where metals are joined without undergoing the traditional melting process. Instead, a rotating tool with a specifically designed profile is plunged into the edges of the metal pieces to be welded. The friction generated by the tool's rotation generates a heat that softens the metal without fully liquefying it. As the tool traverses along the joint, it effectively fuses the metal, creating a seamless and incredibly strong bond. This process doesn't just eliminate the risks associated with molten metal, but it also results in a superior level of precision and structural integrity. The benefits of SSW extend far beyond its innovative methodology. The mechanical properties of FSW joints surpass those achieved through conventional welding methods. The absence of melting and solidifying ensures FSW welds are free from defects commonly associated with cooling and solidification processes. This translates to heightened fatigue strength, impressive tensile strength, and enhanced overall durability. Moreover, FSW generates minimal waste, making an environmentally friendly choice while also improving the aesthetics of the welded surface. But SpaceX's innovations didn't stop there. The transition continued as SpaceX embraced laser welding for many sections of the Starship. Laser welding's concentrated heat penetrated deeper into the metal, allowing entire ring segments to be welded in a single pass. For further weld strength enhancement, an additional step was essential. This ties into a shift in Starship's construction approach. Instead of employing a complex process involving smaller rectangular steel panels meticulously welded together to create rings as in the original prototypes, SpaceX decided to directly utilize complete coils of steel. These coils were strategically positioned on specialized supports resulting in a perfectly circular diameter of 9 meters. These rings underwent a process known as cold rolling. This process involves pressing the metal through rollers to compress it and elongate its grains, making it stronger. After the coiled wires are skillfully rolled and cut, the steel enters the final phase of transformation. Welding together individual steel segments, seamlessly transforming them into a continuous and sturdy ring. But during the welding, the heat softens the metal in that area again. SpaceX introduced a massive planishing machine to address this. Planishing involves hammering down the welds until they match the hardness of the surrounding metal. This not only increased weld strength, but also improved their appearance. Following this, the steel rings, or what SpaceX often refers to as rings, are lifted onto a specialized fixture and stacked together, and then welded. This innovative approach not only saves assembly time, but also reduces the number of individual welds, thereby creating a more spacious production environment for Starship. Finally, all the welding methods that SpaceX has employed have yielded a proper process for the Starship. It's demonstrated aesthetics and durability, especially in the maiden orbital test launch of the Starship, a massive and shiny spacecraft that remains structurally intact despite the vibrations and intense stresses as it passed through Max-Q. Either way, SpaceX is putting everything into the Starship. Look forward to the next launch, as it promises to wow us all. And that's it for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below, because your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.